Hello everybody, what's going on? Welcome to episode 2. Have I changed the title? Uh, yes, there we go. How are we all today? What is going on? We are back. I said I would stream today. We're going to start the season today. I'm excited. Let me just advertise that the stream's live. Do say hello in the chat if you've just joined, by the way. That would be awesome, so I know we're live. Uh, but yeah, let me just advertise that the stream is going up. There we go. Oh, well, that's kind of not worked. Here we go. Right, can someone speak in the chat so I know that we're live before I advertise out? I think we're live. Someone speak. Say hello. Somebody say hello quickly. There we go, we are live. Okay, sweet. Right, let me just, like I say, let me just have a tell that the stream is live. Uh, let me just turn my phone off, because my phone seems to always go off as soon as I, um... As soon as I start streaming, it's typical, right? Uh, Daniel, Dr. Ulzok. James, how you doing? Trevor, how you doing? Uh, let me just um, close everything down, then we're good to go. Perfect. All right, let's load the save. Ryan, how you doing, man? What's going on? Jordy, hello. I finished work not long ago. And I had to record a video as soon as I got in to do the nap tactics. So I'm like, I feel drained. I've been home for like an hour and a half. And you know when you feel like you've just done so much? I feel absolutely drained. Um, so yeah, we're about to start the season. Um, we like yesterday we had a very good preseason yesterday, probably the best preseason we've had in a long time. We we made some really good signings. We completely changed kind of the dynamic of the team yesterday, which was amazing. Um, we brought in some really good players. I'm not gonna go through it too much because hopefully you guys have caught up by now. I do want to get some games played tonight. I'm not sure. We, I'm only gonna be streaming for about an hour, an hour and a half tonight. I do want to get some some games done tonight. But like I say, it's available to catch up. So, uh, 17 games in, first by a point on this save. Which save are you doing, Ryan, again? But yeah, right. We've got Spennymore, the first game of the season. Of course, we, made, we played a lot of games yesterday. Uh, are there going to be a Creator Cup? I have no idea. Martio, what's going on, man? Let's continue because I've got nothing else to do. We've kind of, we've kind of done everything that we needed to do. We we've got no money left now anyway. I think we just go with what we've got this season. Really, really excited for Thomas and Spencer up front. Excited for Warren. Excited for Shaw. Excited for Richards. Excited for a, 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 that guy, Rydal, Aiden Stone, a new goalkeeper. It's looking good, boys. It's looking good. Like I say, we're only going to be streaming for about an hour tonight. I've got an intro to make tonight, so it's only going to be a short stream today. But I won't be streaming for the next two days either. I will be back on Friday. I am working the next two nights, so there'll be no stream tomorrow. Who's Brad Walker? We've already bought Brad Walker in, right? Yes, Brad Walker's my new DLP. Okay. Perfect. Farsley, nice. Chris, how you doing, mate? I'm ready to start this, um, I don't really want to put Danny Ellis as my captain because he's not really going to be playing. I think Jack Higgins is going to be playing, right? Who do I have as my captain? I mean, let's, let's, uh... maybe David Sires. Okay, we're going to go with that. Ellis is going to get annoyed, but we'll go with David Sires. Uh, how come you have that much money? You need to go back and watch the first episode. I've got a million pounds. Go back and watch the first episode and you'll see. How is everybody getting on on the saves anyway? 
Morg, what's going on? I'm ready to start. I have not really played Football Manager yet this year. Like, apart from the beta save, I haven't really played that much of it. We've done a few, obviously, I've done a few offline saves, but nothing kind of like more than a season. So I'm really excited to kind of get into this now. Which is why we started the save yesterday, because I'm just, I'm just wanting to play a lot of FM right now, which is good. Burger, how you doing, mate? So we've got Spennymore, then we've got Kings Lintan. Hopefully we can um, we can go on maybe a little cup run this season. That would be nice, wouldn't it? We never seem to get many many good cup runs, so I'm hoping we can kind of yeah get something. Was just watching the last episode. Skipped here. Uh, Too oppy. What's going on? Glurme, how you doing, mate? Uh, just put my League Cup side out by mistake, only to find it was a League game. Didn't matter. Went on to beat Spurs 4-2 anyway. Nice. RRFM, what's going on, man? We made... Um, I'll go through it again for anyone that missed it. But we made the following signings. Right from here. But these are the signings we've made. We bought in Jamie Thomas. Very excited about Jamie Thomas. Um, I've got a feeling this is going to score a lot of goals for us. Though we are playing him as an impressive forward. Uh, Aiden Stone, new goalkeeper on loan. Um, nothing that really stands out apart from... The main signings are Thomas and Tyrell. They're, they're the main signings. A centre back and a striker. So I'm um, I'm excited. I'm nervous. I don't know what to expect. We've seen a few. I mean, we've played a lot of friendlies, but we haven't really seen much. So hopefully the tactic kind of holds out. We are making our managerial debut, of course, against Spennymore, who's got a really good striker, by the way. So we'll see what we do. Anyone's predictions? What's your predictions for my league this season? What do you reckon we're gonna do? So we are predicted to finish top of the league, or second now actually. We was predicted to finish 15th when we started the save. I have got the two best players in the league in Tyrell Warren and Jamie Thomas. So uh, the best striker in the league is with Farsley. I don't know how we managed to pull Jamie Thomas in, but we did. We've got a lot of work to do really next season. Uh, first, hopefully. It'll be, a, it'll be a rare occasion if I finish first. So all my lower league saves I do on Twitch or YouTube, where, wherever, wherever it was, I've always finished in the playoffs in the first season and lost. I don't think I've ever been promoted first season. So it's going to be intriguing if we can do that. I've always struggled first season. Have Brexit options changed? Uh, I'm not sure. I've not even got that far yet. Right, here we go, boys and girls. The first game of the season against Spennymore. We are favourites. So hopefully, let's quick pick because I'm intrigued to see what my assistant thinks. Um, I don't necessarily want to play McEvoy. I'd rather play um, Brad Walker, but it's putting Brad Walker as AP. I don't want to play Brad Walker as AP. I'd rather play Sires. Think. Let's go sight. It's a little bit more natural. Vish, what's going on, man? Sign Boone to Chris. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about the centre back. Like, this is a little bit worrying. Especially with players like Adam Clayton. Tom Allen is suspended. Otherwise, it would be Tom Allen playing. Uh, to be honest, I'm probably going to go with Coggill. Coggill's got kind of more of a. Yeah, let's go with that. I think this is the team. Yeah, I think, I think we're ready to go, honestly. Let's do it. First game of the season. I don't even know if I've set everything up. I've seen a lot of saves where... Um... Ooh, that looks a bit weird. I've seen a lot of saves where England uh, England doesn't leave the EU. Uh, we did get the right winger in the DM, yes. We did. Right, key highlights. I think that's all good. Okay, I think we're good to go. The only thing I need to do, which we'll do, there we go. Let me just get on my, um, what am I looking for here? Match stats, latest scores, and league table. All right, let me just sort this out a second, because I haven't even had a chance to do this yet. I'd like to see that somewhere on the screen. Annoying how I can't put it there though, right? How frustrating is that? I like to see the league table, which we have on the right hand side. No, we don't, we have there. 
I haven't even done this yet. I will bring that across a bit more. Okay. And we'll get the latest scores over here. Get the latest scores over here. Yo. I don't like to take up too much of the pitch, really. Okay, let's go with that. That's fine. We can we can work them out. 2D, I never play 2D. Uh yeah, we, we've we've moved. We've moved on. That seems really high. There's something wrong here. I can't figure it out. Bear with. There we go. That's the one I go with, I think, isn't it? I'm sure we always do sideline, right? Okay, let's go with that. I don't even know what colour we are. Um, I'm assuming we're blue, I think. Yeah, we're blue. Okay, we're blue. Blue and white. Here we go. Is that a penalty, ref? Oh, I thought it was a penalty. Early, early doors penalty. That's not very good from the inverted wing back, Thomas. I'm, I've got high hopes for Thomas to get me to the league. He's my ticket to the league if I can keep him next season as well. 1 0 at Richards. Jordan Richards gets his first goal. I have no idea who he is. Is he the right back? <laughs> the right back has um, just got his goal. It's 1 0 to, um, to Farsley. Good start to the season. Good start to the game in the first five minutes. Look how high the left back was. Uh, the right back, sorry. Brett, how you doing, man? I have to leave you as a background noise while I'm doing my assignments. No worries. Jamie out. Dashi. What's going on? I, I, I think after pre-season, I kind of deserve... Um, I personally think I deserve a nice big win here after... After the after how good our preseason was, I mean we're playing some good football actually. Our passing's a little bit terrible. I've noticed us give possession away twice already, three times already, which is a bit worrying. Is that Carl Magne who used to play for Chelsea? Oh, here we go. Thomas has got the ball. Can he do him? Like I said, I've got high hopes for Thomas. Here we go. Look at Thomas go. Oh, good save. How come we've restart restarted? I think it's because we was on the beta. There's quite a few bugs. I don't necessarily like kind of a beta save. You know what I mean? It's it's hard to explain. Right, I'm noticing the midfield's getting well overrun already. It's fine, you know, it's the first game of the season. The left back and stuff, the left back and the right back's gonna be massively involved in, in this in this tactic. Giving the ball away is so easy. Good save. Oh, is it the post? They should have scored. Oh, a bit of a nervous time here. A bit, bit nervous. Let's try and get this second goal, though. Nice passing. Here we go. Spencer. Shaw. Sure. Where we go inside? Let's have a crack. Don't any of the, the updates do apply, but I think it's just the the fact that I was um, like the thought of, of it of still being on the base if that makes sense. I wouldn't start the save. Obviously, the players and stuff are different. The players won't be on it, or the the changes won't happen if you've already got a save. Spencer Walker. Hey, well, we're having a lot of long shots. There was a lot of long shots in the beta. Has that carried on into the main game? Stats wise, though, I can't be happier away from home. Sixty percent possession. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. We're getting a lot of the ball. Sires. Why is there so many long shots? I feel like we need to be getting this second goal, though. Richards. Oh, no. oh nearly went over the top. Almost. Rydell, why is Thomas so deep? Walker, Richards. Shaw. Come on, second goal before half time. No. Oh. Uh, long shots. Pen side shots are downside to this year's match engine. Yeah, I mean, I do like a long shot though. I'm not going to lie. Thomas. 
Rydal. I mean, the match engine feels a lot smoother to me, personally. Sires, go on. Sure, oh my god, the keeper is turning into De Gea. How have we not scored a second goal? We are missing the target quite a bit, though. We've only had four shots on target. Okay, that, if they can do that all day, that's nice and easy. That is nice and easy. Oh, that's a great ball. That's a great ball by Warren. Spencer's got to finish. Jesus Christ. I do feel like Man City right now with the amount of chances we're having. But we haven't put it away. Tyrell Warren, that, that, that pass was lovely, right? A tackle by Shaw as well. That's where your defensive winger comes into play. Thomas. Is that a peno? Yes, we've got a penalty, boys. Here we go. Jimmy Spencer will take it. Go on, Jimmy. Go on, Jimmy. Make us 2 0. We deserve it. We definitely deserve this. Yes, 2 0. Hope there's no sucker punch. Hopefully not. Hopefully that's. Um, yeah, that's. That's the win now, I think. I think we've got the W here. 16 shots. We're in total, total dominance. 65% possession. A clean sheet would just top the day off here for me. It looks like we're carrying on to attack as well. I'm forcing a few mistakes. That's the, obviously the prevent the goal kick distribution. The pressing forwards closing down. Opened up for Sires. And Sires makes it 3-0. David Sires with his first goal of the season. What a goal. I love goals like that. It's probably time to make a change soon, I think. There we go. So much space. Look at the space he's got. Look at the space. No one's going near him. Oh, oh I thought he got rid of that. I, I didn't think he got rid of that. Spencer, sure. Richards, Thomas. I haven't seen a goal from Thomas yet. Sure. So he is holding the play up quite well. Let's make a change. Uh, I want to bring Hayhurst on for Rydell. I want to take off. Um, I want to take off Spencer. Make two changes. <clears throat> Just got Kingsland to the championship. Nice. Hopefully, you guys are looking forward to this save. Sure. I know what you guys are looking forward to. I can. I can say straight away. You guys are looking forward to the scout reports, aren't you? The wonder kids that pop through my scouting center. That's what you guys are waiting for. The, the, um, the assignments. The new Milanovic, whatever his name was. Miles, what's going on? Sure. To be honest, we've absolutely, this has been actually a really good game. We've completely... I don't think I've seen them have a shot yet. Completely dominated them. And they've got a red card now as well. I'm looking forward to you being sacked. Did you find the Danish winger? I didn't, no. I didn't. We're okay, though. We did get one on loan. So we're all right. Can I take off Warren just so we don't get a red card? Bring on Danny Ellis. Fires. Ah, it's 4-0. What a start to the season. You're going to try and sign Grunley again? Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? You mean those African and Scandinavian ballers that you s steal and sell? Yeah, I, I can't wait. Right, they are down to ten men. I hope you get the. I hope you don't get the eight k wages one and, and no chance of getting any potential for the championship. Yes. Such a piece of cake. Yeah, I mean, we we started very confident. I think. Maybe the um, maybe the amount of friendlies we played actually benefit us. I don't know. Hayhurst, Thomas. We still haven't looked at the staff completely though. Thomas. I'd like to see more from Thomas. It's only the first game though. Watch your camera settings. Uh, right there. Sideline lowest height, just above the middle of zoom. 
Also, downside is your centre backs are getting caught often with long ball. Yes, I know. I've, it's just happened again right there. Um, it's going to happen in the lower leagues. To be honest, this this tactic is kind of like it's almost like route one kind of style for the lower leagues. Well, that's what they will play against you. So my centre backs aren't the best. So I'm just hoping I can score more goals than than them. Basically, that's I just want short term success this year, and then I can build the team around the tactic more next year. But yeah, good start. 4-1. Shame we didn't keep a clean sheet, but we do play Kingsland Town next. We are top of the league. Hopefully we can stay there. That would be good. Got a lot of games coming up. I don't know if we... Um, I imagine we play in the... I can never remember what qualifying round we enter. Um, so we sold 135 season tickets. Oh, dear me. <laughs> this is going to be one of them saves where it's going to take us forever. To um to get our attendances up. What was the guy's name? Um Dave. The media prediction is first. We was predict the uh, media prediction is second. We was predicted fifteenth when we started the save, so uh, we have done very well in preseason in bringing the players in. We've got the probably the smallest wage budget as well. Let's have a look at our wage budget comparison compared to... Look how bad that looks, by the way. All them cups. Mouse has just gone funny. Hang on. Um, let's have a look at... Where, I'm intrigued for the wages right now. And I'm assuming we're not the lowest. I mean, I'm going to guess that maybe we might be the lowest, you know? I don't know who's going to be lower than us. Maybe, like, Bradford or Spennymore, maybe? Uh, I forgot how to find it. Team details. So, of course... Oh, no, we're ninth, actually. I thought we were much lower than that. Okay. So, York City seem to be the team. Of course, York City. Spending almost a million pound a year on wages. Where we're only on 348k. Yeah, Bradford's bottom at 105k. So, we're not overall that bad in terms of wages against the other teams. I can't get no free loans. Yeah, loans are really hard to get this season. Um, they've kind of they've kind of cut back on that now. David, it's very hard. Yeah, some players you have to keep checking, David. So some clubs will offer like a free loan occasionally. We we didn't get many this year. We probably got three or four. Uh, maybe maybe two or three players who the clubs didn't want any money for. But most of the clubs now want money for the players. Right, we we'll go straight into the next game. With obviously the National League, um, yeah, it's, there's not much rest in the National League. So Tom Allen comes back in. Um, yeah, I'm kind of happy with this. To be honest, a lot of players on the transfer list that we need to kind of get rid of. Um, yeah, let's go. Isn't all the free loans to do with financial fair play? It's not, no. I'm using um, just the one from FM Scout. I'm not sure which one it is. Right, second game. The games are going to come quick and like thick and fast in this National League. You play a lot at the start of the season, so we're going to be playing a lot of games. We are at home. We don't seem to have that many fans, let's be honest. We need to watch these balls over the top. The sweeper keeper, they should have scored there. We should be 1-0 down here. That was a bit worrying. Come on, boy. One nil down. The keeper has made two really bad mistakes there. As a sweeper keeper, he should be coming out. So Tyler Warren gets his first goal for the club. And Tyler Warren, the centre-back, the guy who you actually... This guy, I don't know if anyone's heard of him, he usually goes to the championship clubs at the start. And we have managed to get him. A few of the guys in the stream have also managed to get him as well. So it is, it is, it is doable to actually get him. But I have noticed on some saves he does go to the championship. I'm not saying he plays in the championship, but he does go to championship clubs. That Michael Gash who used to play for Ebsley, how is that guy still playing? Why do I recognise that guy from Ebsfleet? There we go, yeah. I remember him at Ebsfleet. 
Another corner. Richards, come on. Warren. Oh, he's... oh yes. Warren makes it too. The centre-back is, you know, it's the centre-back show. Two goals from the centre-back. Nice. We'll take it. We'll take it. Dyers. Richards. Dyers. So much space for Walker. And he's hit the target. Can we get a um, can we get a hat trick for the centre back? Maybe it's them them balls we need to watch. Yeah, them, we're gonna get hurt by them balls. I'm not saying this is gonna be the most pretty season. Um, like I say, I'm literally in this for. Um, why is the icon? There we go. I'm literally in this for short term success of a quick promotion. So it's gonna be a case of we score more than them this year. By all means, it's not gonna be a tactical genius style save in the first season with the players we've got we should be able to score more than the other clubs in the game great ball sure Rydell he's got to score maybe put one on cover no I'm going to keep it we're only in the second game it's doing alright we're getting a lot of chances I mean Warren's getting so many chances from set pieces we'll make a change shortly I just need to see more from the strikers, really. I don't think any of them scored yet. Thomas. There we go. Jamie Thomas. Yeah, we look strong at set pieces. Matthias, what's going on? How are you getting on with your... Um... Did you buy FM20? You were a bit unsure to buy it, right? Jamie Thomas makes it 3-1. Warren has the pace for cover. It's fine at the moment. I bought it, downloaded all the packs, haven't touched it since. What about the double barrel save game? Save game. Sure. Richards. We still look very good in possession though, right? Oh, what a ball. Oh, that would have been a great goal. That little back flick. Finally, Thomas scores. Yeah, but they're on the counter now. And there's no... Oh, he should have passed. There was nobody marking ball there. Uh, let's make a change. Let's bring on Hayes. This is kind of this, the changes that we keep making. Um, let's bring on Cartman. Spencer's having quite a bad game. Go with that. Just got, in, got into the Prem with them in FM19 and got bored. It's usually the case there, right? I mean, looking at the stats, look at the stats, man. 29 shots, 13 shots on target, 60% possession again. Absolutely, um, absolutely dominated. Thomas. Walker, come on. Thiers. Thomas. Oh. Oh, JB, Thomas. That's why we spent all that money on you, man. Yes, I really want a cup run. What a goal by Jamie Thomas. Fantastic goal. What just happened? It's offside. <laughs> that was really delayed. And that is another 4 1 win. Boys, I, I don't think. I think we've got to be happy. Like, we've got to be happy with the last two games. Both of them 4 1. I think, um, yeah. That's, both of them was 4-1, right? Yeah, 4-1, 4-1. We are scoring goals. That's the main thing. We've got Brackley Town coming up. There's no sign of any FA Cup stuff. We've got the FA Cup qualifying round right here. But I would like to have a, a nice little cup run this season. That would be great. Uh, but yeah, what a goal by Thomas. I think with this team, you'll finish first. Hopefully, we was predicted 15th, like I said. We, we we got some money in the club. We um we did a lot of friendlies, so you can see right here. We had a lot of friendly games against the against kind of championship lower prem teams. Got a little bit of money in the club, and that enabled the board to give me an extra two thousand pound for wages, 
and we we managed to kind of turn the team around from that. So it's yeah, it's going well. Of course, a lot of the team is very very bad. Like if I get any injury to any of these type of players, we're in a bit of trouble because the rest of them are really poor. As you can see, all of these are terrible. This squad is nowhere near good enough for the next league, which we can change around from next season. It would be nice to get Tyrell, Warren, Warren and Thomas on contract so we don't lose them around November time, which we will try and do, of course. Well, so far, Thomas and Warren have been really good for us. We've got one more game, and it looks like we've got a week's break, which will be nice. We've just played three games really quick. How much is um? We never even looked how much Thomas and Warren was worth, actually. What was their value? It's, okay, that's. I mean, that that's what that's what it's done for us. So Thomas is valued at ninety four k, while Warren is valued at hundred k. So, yeah, I'm like I said, I'm delighted with our signings. Uh. MRL, who, who are you talking about? Oh, Sam Rui, that was the guy we signed, wasn't it? Yeah, it was that, that was the winger we signed. I remember now. Let me offer him a trial, because who we got on the right-hand side of him, we've got Shaw at the moment, who's on loan, but let me, let me trial him. Uh, I've not received any Brexit news. I think it's a little bit too early. He has rejected me, so it looks like he's not interested in the contract anyway. Oh, he is. He's interested. I'm going to get him in a non-contract. Let's get him in on a non-contract and see what happens. I mean, I don't even know what I just offered him. <laughs> I just kind of... <laughs> what did I offer? Oh, £35 appearance. So, okay, let's get him in on a non-contract and just see what it's like. We've got the option to use him if we need to. So we, we may as well. It gives us another option on that right-hand side. I don't see why we can't do that, right? Only £35 a game. We're not too fussed if we do lose him, so... Uh, but I think we're going to stick with the same team. I think with... Um, with the way we've been playing, I think... We should stick with this. Don't, I'm kind of feeling that I need to play a keel. Uh, no, I'm not too fussed. Okay. Nathan Cartman is, is pretty decent as a pressing forward, so. Okay, let's go. Second game, exact same team. We've got no injuries yet. Been some time. Matthias, what's going on? All right, Brackley Town. Here we go. Third game, yes, third game of the season already. Notorious, how you doing, man? You are playing the nap tactic. I'm playing something very similar. The roles are the same, but the instructions are different. We are oh, we're one nil down. Uh, oh, he's offside. Never mind. Brockley Town, Brackley Town. I, am I playing left wing back for them? So we almost went 1-0 down then. Let's be careful here. Walker. Sires. Sires. Oh, it's 1-0. David Sires, man. <laughs> David Sires. Third goal of the season. Uh, fine, mate. Good to see you back with FM20. Good to see you too, bro. I got a tip off, um, David, probably about two weeks ago now, um, that the two pressing forwards was, was doing really well. So I was trying it with my Benfica save. Oh, it's 1-1. One, one. Oh, no, it's disallowed. They've had two goals disallowed now. Oof. We have had three yellow cards as well. We need to be careful. 
Can we potentially take one of the players off? Tom Allen, let's bring on... Uh, let's bring on Higgins. Let's try not get a, a centre-back sent off. Try and get the second goal. Right, I feel like these are going to score. They've already had two goals disallowed. We're kind of struggling against the... the they're playing wing-backs like in, in the actual role, and we're struggling. Look at the state of the pitch. Jesus. One Spencer. Not really known for his pace, but he needs to... If he can find Thomas here... As off, he's miles offside. Uh, I finished school, but I got rejected today, so yeah, an emotional roller coaster. Oh. I play 4 1 2 3 with a middle press. I'm currently second with the team that's rated relegation bottle. Is nice. Right, I've got a feeling this might be a draw. We've had more possession, but we haven't had as many shots this game. Uh, let's bring on. Let's take up. Rydell's not really doing much. Let's bring on. Let's bring on Spencer as well. Take off Spencer, sorry. But you can't name the question I gave you. Um, I can't. No. Richards, come on, get that second goal. Oh, Tyler Warren, almost. It might be a clean sheet, though. The first clean sheet of the season. What do you reckon? Rackley is definitely going to feel hard done by here. If it does finish 1-0. Because they have had two goals disallowed. Guys, be careful. Don't. Oh, my God. Higgins, what was that? Oh, what a save by Stone. Oh, is that, is that just saved us? Look at that for a save, man. Where was it? He just tipped it onto the bar, did he not? Or was that my eyes? I'm sure he tipped it onto the bar. Oh, he did as well. What a save that was. Aiden Stone keeping us in it. Oh, what, what, what just happened? What the hell just happened there? <laughs> I just see the ball flying from nowhere. Hang on, let me just check this again. Have I missed it? I don't know what happened. Hang on, I still missed it. But the goalkeeper kicks it out. Thomas just... Oh, that would have been a great goal, would it not? Why would Thomas even attempt that? Thomas is here, look. This guy here. Just hoofs it. Oh. oh I really wish I scored that now. I don't think I've ever seen that before on FM. Okay, we got the clean sheet. That's the main thing. Greatest of all time. <laughs> it would have been a great goal, right? Uh, I don't think I can afford Lucas Silva. David Sires. No, why, why is none of you talking about David Sires? He scored three goals. In the last last three games. Where's the hype for David Sires? Come on. Just because he's 31 years old. You know, and he's not really, you know, he's not the fastest player. He scored three goals for me. Let's get the Sires hype. That's why. Got Gate said next. Gate said, um... They got relegated last season, did they not? Gates said away is going to be tricky. Oh, look at that, man. Juanito Lopez actually went to um, went to Wigan, believe it or not. Yeah, he went to Wigan. 120k value as well. We should have got this guy, maybe. But we couldn't afford the wages, so... Finishing his 12 for a ball winner, Jamie, no potential on the guy. I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> I've got like a £6,000 wage budget. <laughs> right, Samra we joined, so that gives us another option on that right-hand side. Um, I'm not sure how good he's going to be based on this team, but we'll have a look. 
Not great. Um, but like I say, there's another option on that right hand side. It's not really a defensive winger either. But it's okay. It's okay. Connor Mead, brilliant non contract signing, pays and finds the net regularly. I think we're all good now. Honestly, I think. Yeah, we're all good. I'm just going to go make a brew because it's absolutely freezing. I'll be back in a second. Give me two minutes and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Is anyone from the UK in this stream, by the way? I've got a drink for you to try. I'm a little bit obsessed with it at the moment. It's like a Christmas special drink. <clears throat> I didn't, you didn't install the badge. Eh, I forgot. <laughs> UK gang. Right, it's called... Well, it's Iron Brew. I don't know if you, if you don't like Iron Brew already, there's no point listening. But it's Iron Brew with Spiced Ginger. It's so nice. Go and try it. Right, let's continue. Grease is here. <laughs> Honestly, don't knock it until you try it. Go in your nearest shop and get some Iron Brew with Spiced Ginger. Mr. McGinister, what's going on? I was going to reply to you or comment, actually. I didn't notice your comment at work. Um, I, I, I was at work. <laughs> um, 
But in terms of the streams, the streams are usually like three times a week. Um, if you are in the stream or if you watch it back, I do usually say when I'm streaming next, so. Brandon Mountcastle, what's going on, man? Who are you voting for? I don't want to talk about politics in this stream. I'm not voting, to be honest. I've just spoken, I've just contradicted myself, right? I can't be bothered. I'm sick of seeing about it, I'm sick of hearing about it, I'm sick of seeing it on the news. Nah. I'm not interested. Jamie is un <laughs> contradicts himself massively. Um, Jamie is 100% Boris? Nah. I, I honestly, I, yeah, I don't know. They all just lie anyway, so what's the point? Out for dinner, just checking in. Platinum, what's going on, man? That's dedication right there. Are you with? Who are you with? Um, I do economics and even I find it boring. Right, predictions for the Gateshead game, boys. We're bound to get our first loss at some point. Um, what's your predictions for the Farsley against Gateshead? We are away from home. Gateshead is kind of the biggest team we're playing against yet. So Gateshead, where are they? What have they done so far? So they are eighth. They have um, they've only lost one game. Mike Williamson. Manager defender, wow. Okay, you can tell we're in the non-league. <laughs> uh, right, okay, let's go. We're going to go with the same team. I don't really want to change it. The injury risk is quite high in this game, apparently. Try a kebab wrap chips and chili, best food ever. I've had that before. The missus, oh dear. Yeah, make sure you catch up, Platinum. Right, here we go. Farsley against Gateshead. Away from home. If we can get another good result here. I don't know. I'm just, I'm feeling good right now. I'm feeling like we've got a very good team. There's no one in the stadium, hardly. Richard's with the corner. Where's, t where's Warren? Oh, Warren's been getting a few, um, it's mainly from the... From the other side of the corner, though, where he's been getting the goals. I recognise Bartlett for Gateshead. Gateshead got relegated. Um, they had a weird relegation, right? It wasn't down to actually finishing the bottom. Is one-on-ones a problem on this game as well? I'm sure I was seeing in the beta that one-on-ones are quite hard to score. Financial trouble, yeah. There was just a motive, wasn't there? Okay, not much happening right now. Though we are on top. Again, good possession. They haven't had a shot yet. Pazio. Why don't you just go with Farsley, man? Sure, here we go. Nice bit of pace by Shaw. Go on, Shaw. That's a penalty, ref. All day long, that's a penalty. That's Spencer. I think Spencer's our penalty taker. He has scored a penalty already. Come on, Spencer. Make it 1-0. And it's a great penalty. Spencer, 1-0 to Farsley. I see you changed the series name. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't know if ever... <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, to be honest. I'm going to. Um, yeah, so we had a bit of bother yesterday. Apparently, I, um, I copied somebody... I didn't, the thing is, I hadn't, like, um, we hadn't picked the name of the, it was an accident, honestly, it was just, I thought non-league to legend was a generic term, like, road to glory, that type of stuff, um, but we hadn't, we hadn't finished the thumbnail yet, the thumbnail still isn't finished, so there wasn't really a name for the series as of yet, um, so I just put the generic title in, but someone got pissy, 
No, believe it or not, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. Yeah, I, I was just sat there laughing at everyone. Like, people, to be fair, people was actually sticking up for us, saying, like, <laughs> it's, not it's not like trademark law and all this. I was like, Jesus. I am on about La Lujo, yeah. I feel like it's fine. It wasn't my decision to change it. If it was me, I would have just kept it as it is. Just to annoy people, but I'm, I'm kind of past all that now. Thomas? Rydell? Go on, go on. Right, it's 1-1, one, one, boys. Yeah, I mean, we. to be fair, we look the bigger person on, on Twitter. So, let's leave it at that. Right, we all. This is going to be a draw, I think. Both strikers aren't playing too well. I don't want to take off Thomas, though. Lelujo was annoyed at because I named the series by accident non league to legend. We're going to lose. Oh, he saved it. Stone well played. And so, come on, boys. Can we get the win? Sure. Oh, it's a great goal by Shaw. Nathan Shaw, first goal of the season. Makes it 2-1. Nice. I don't really have any issues with anybody. Like, apart from one person who I just, just don't get on with and will never speak to again. But apart from that, I don't really have much beef with anybody. Sure. Spencer, or oh, oh, Thomas, oh, it's off the, off the line. Well, it's just the same as FIFA, right? FIFA people do Road to Glory. FM, you do Journeyman. Who was the first person who... Thomas? Yes, 3-1, nice. It's like if you do a Journeyman save, it's people saying that you can't do a Journeyman save and name it the Journeyman. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's just a bit... I don't know. Like I say, I'm not, I'm not that interested. Uh, just created a 3-2-2-1-2. Going to submit with Sheffield United and Hearts and see how it plays out. Nice. So we looked like we was probably going to draw that game, but we have managed to get two more goals since. Maybe a 4-1 again. We seem to be winning a lot against 4-1. 3-2-2-1-2, this confused me a lot. Oh, where where was the where was the defenders then? What the hell? Where where was the defenders? Nobody marking him. Look at this. Jesus, that's that's worrying. Should be an easy promotion to be fair with the players you have. Hopefully, let's not get carried away though. You know, just an injury to Jamie Thomas and, yeah, I've played Nathan Cartman for the entire season. So, let's not get carried away. Let's just go back game by game. And, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. But we play Hereford next. Hereford, we've got two games now. Hereford and Chester. Both of them started the season all right. Hereford just behind us, actually. Three two, like I said, nice. So I've heard there's a new thing on FM Twenty where your youth players get poached. Is that true? I haven't even done a season yet on FM, so I've not had no intakes. But I've seen pictures of where now your youth intakes can get poached before you even see the stats. Apparently, 
which is really annoying. Oh, I would love Chiori Johnson. Chiori Johnson was a Bolton player. Chiori Johnson would be awesome, but he's probably going to want too much money. We do kind of need a new right back. And he would be, of his five star, he would be a six signing. You reckon we should try and get him? It's been a while, he's still not got a club. Do you reckon his wages will be lower? I don't even know if we can, we can bid for him. We see what he wants. He has got low determination. Let's just see what he wants. Like, I'm gonna... Oh, we, can, we can get him. I can offer a three-year contract on him. That's interesting. The contract's gone up. The contract there and things have gone up because of the balance. Oh, do I go for Chiori Johnson, boys? Do we get a new right back in? I need help. Chiori Johnson is really good. It's, five, it's 97 rated. Do I get him on a three-year contract and use him in the lower leagues? I mean, like I say, his determination is very low, but that's not an issue. What's his... Re his re I mean, he's operating at National League level. If we get that guy in, give him a three-year pot if possible, one, League One potential. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for him. going to put the club in slightly a bit of debt. Oh, can we? I want to get rid of the promotion wage rise though, if I can. The signing on fee, I don't think we're going to be able to do. That's the problem. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Let's let's try it. <clears throat> let's see what happens. I'm trying to think of some other players now who could potentially go. You raised a million pounds for them. What is a bit of debt? I know, right? Why are wing-backs so amazing, but box-to-box -box inside forwards hard to get for regions? Box-to-box -box is one of the hardest. I always find box-to-box -box incredibly hard. Worst case, you can sell them in a season or so. To be honest with you, I'm thinking of going... Now we can offer three-year contracts. I'm thinking of getting Tyler Warren and um, and Jamie Thomas down for the next two or three years. Once I can, once I can bid for them again. Of course, we can't do it now because they've just accepted a deal, so... They won't be interested now. But I think if we do that, we've got a, a chance to, you know, potentially make some money off them. It was, it was right back that we never really improved this year. So bringing that guy in would be very, very good. Right, we do play against um, uh, Hereford now. It's going to be a tricky game. We're going to stick with the same team again, of course. We haven't really changed it much. I do want to see a bit more from the top two, though. Lewis Cass from Newcastle for a fullback, decent. Sure. Early goal. Yes, 1 0. 22 seconds into the game. Nathan Shaw makes it 1-0. Boys, I, I, don't, I can't remember when we had such a good start in the, um, in the first season of a lower league save. Is there any way to get rid of Brexit? There is in the editor. I don't know why people want to get rid of Brexit. It's, it seems odd. I, I actually like Brexit on this game. I prefer getting the 17-player limit rule. If you get the 17 player like, rule, you can sign anyone in the world. Bear in mind that obviously you want to um, you have to pay them quite a bit depending on the wages, but still, I prefer that rule myself. Otherwise, you have to bring them in and then loan them out to get a work permit. It's annoying. Thomas, score. Yes. Thomas makes it 2 0. You know there are like five different outcomes. I do know there's like five different outcomes. In fact, there's more than five different outcomes. But I always seem to get the 17 player rule all the time. I'm an uber casual on this, makes a nightmare for me. 
To this day, I still don't know what the hardest Brexit is. Thomas? Mooney, save it, keep it, stone. Oh, I thought he came across the across too much then. Right, we are looking a bit complacent. We are actually getting dominated. Well, not dominated, but we are getting we are losing on stats right now. A matter of time before these score and they've scored. Offside though, the play was in interacting right there. Uh, thank you for all the subs, by the way. Stephen Dawson used to play for Mansfield. Mooney's giving me a lot of issues right now. Yeah, he's giving me... Hereford are actually kind of dominating at the minute. So, Aidan Stone is doing pretty well in goal. Yeah, I've got a corner. Right, they've got a goal coming, surely. Okay. I don't need to make any changes just yet, I don't think. The, the, the whole team's complacent right now. Well played by Warren, but it's just hoofed it to their player. We can't seem to get out our own half. They're definitely going to score shortly. They're just wasting the chances. Uh, the one where everyone needs to work payment basically meaning every player costs over 15 million or an international absolutely sucks. Yeah, I hope I don't get that, man. Stone, what are you doing? What are you doing here? Like, I can't seem to get out of my own off. It's, that, that was always coming. Honestly, I, th I really feel like we're going to... I need to go defensive here. Um, let me bring on Ryder because he's playing shocking again. Let's bring on Cartman. I'm going to go a little bit defensive this now. We need to see this game out. Go cautious. Sure, get that third goal. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but we've got a penalty. Hayhurst to take it, and that is 3-1. We've got a bit lucky here. I'm off, so I'll be back. Uh, I'll, be I'll be able to watch back again later tonight. You will do, yes. Just catch up. I got over 8.5 million. One was annoying because you could sign young players for like 500k and not be able to play them because uh, you didn't get them for 8.5 million. Yeah, that is frustrating. Let's close down Reece because he is causing his issues. We'll tighten up as well. Go balanced. I'm gonna drop a little bit deeper also. I'm struggling in the championship 54k wage budget and foreigners are 8k a pop. Alright, just go all English players and then just get the odd foreigner. And Richards. The right back is actually doing pretty good. Even though we're bringing in Shuri Johnson, we are four goals up. I feel like we've been a little bit dominated this game, but we seem to have picked it up towards the end of the second half. Cartman. <laughs> Jesus. Been a lot of highlights in this game. Thomas, not really seen him at all game, to be fair. Yeah, he's had a bad game, Thomas. Oh, he's won the ball back, though. Take a gander at Kelsey Mooney. I'll have a look. Thomas, he's got, he's got through. Can he score? Nope. Yeah, English players are so expensive. Like, wage-wise, it's so hard to get good English players. Even at championship level, they want so much money. 
That's a great little turn by Ash. But saved by Stone. I'm now at the point where almost everyone is demanding stupid wages like some randomer in League 2 thinks he can get 10k at my club. What's up lad, doing good I see? Yeah, we're doing well, we haven't lost a game yet. We're unbeaten. Aiden Stone is kind of keeping me in this game, even though we are four goals up. He's had a really good game. He must have a good rating this game, surely. We're just about to make another sign-in, actually. How have they not scored? <laughs> Right, okay. Four goals. With Chester coming up. Who is that Mooney guy you're talking about? This guy is injured now. Kelsey Mooney. Yeah, he looks good. Good pace. Is he on a free, free transfer? He is. Kelsey Mooney is a free transfer, actually. He must be on a non-contract. Jesus, operating at League 2 level. Damn, son. Pressing forward as well, Jesus. I'm assuming this guy's not interested in joining me, right? Ah, he's not. He's not long joined Hereford. I'll definitely look at that guy next season, though. He could be my... Um, I can't... He's not interested. He's only just joined Hereford. Give it six months and I'll bid for him. He could be up front with... Um, just remind me to go for him in a few months. Him and Jamie Thomas up front could be lethal. The, the National League season, maybe, if we get promoted. <clears throat> right. There's not much to do, boys. We can't exactly go out and scout players like, like we normally do. We can't really... Um... All we can do is play games. There's not much to do. Does the star rating depend on which division you're in? No, it depends on the players you've currently got based on current ability. I was hoping Chiori Johnson would come in before the Chester game. But it doesn't look like it. He was wanted by Files, so. Aiden Stone is doing very well in training. So, in terms of the streams this week, uh, boys and girls, we have just signed Chiori Johnson, a very good fullback who was previously at Bolton. That's a very good signing. League 2 quality, definitely League 2 quality. Three-year contract as well, which is very good. So we've got a right-back definitely for this season and next season. Um, so we're going to put him in for the first game. Chiori Johnson right there. Just need um, kind of two new centre-back. A centre-back and a left-back next season, really. And improve on David Sires. But let's put Johnson in for the first game. See what he can do. As you can see, the recent form is excellent. They are very inconsistent, but they are currently 11th in the league. Let's play. We've got the link now between Thomas and Spencer, finally. I mean, we haven't really had many injuries, have we already? So, overall, it's pretty good. But we do play a home game now against Chester. I say that and one of their left winger gets injured. Sires, sure. Rydal, I've not seen anything from Rydal in, the, in all the games we've played. Yeah, not much at all. Thomas. Rydal. Poor ball. Oh, Thomas, nice. Oh, he's offside. No. It's 
So yeah, like I say, in terms of the streams for this week, the streams will be back on Friday. There'll be, there'll be no stream on Wednesday and Thursday. I'm a little bit busy at work on Wednesday and Thursday. So I'm not going to... I'm not going to have time to stream uh, Wednesday and Thursday, but the streams will be back Friday and Saturday. Thomas? Mitchell, what's going on, man? Trying to get his first goal against Chester right now. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to... Um... Yeah, hopefully you guys are looking forward to this 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 whole series. It's going to go on for a long time. Definitely three to four months. So hopefully you guys are going to stick with me for the, the entire save. If not, obviously catch up. I'm not expecting to be in every stream. Like, it's quite quiet tonight, to be fair. But like I said, I love it that people can... Um, that people can obviously watch back. Uh, does that Mooney lad start on Erifed? I'm not sure, Mathis. Not sure. I never even heard of him. Spencer? Nah. It's just the name of the preset, James. Dudley? That's a good goal, to be fair. Uh, this is a new series, MV, yes. People can watch your videos to fail uni, what better way? Spencer makes it 1-1. We're back in it. No, no, we just we just skipped it because of the beta. That that was literally it. Uh, I didn't really necessarily want to beta save. Mathis, so you just started a save. Are you not doing your annual Wrexham save or what? Sure, come on boys, let's let's keep the run going. Sure. Oh, is it the crossbar? No. We need to watch them balls over the top. Luckily Warren's kind of covering, which is good. He is stopping a lot of balls over the top, but that's his pace. Spencer's through on 1 1 1. Oh. Should have passed. Thomas and Mooney up front. Try it, sure. It does seem like in, in the lower leagues now, it does seem like you can get much better players in the lower leagues. Like players who's kind of good enough for the next few years with you, if that makes sense. Right, we are focused. Body language is focused. Here we go. Come on. Let's make a sub. Let's bring on Nathan Cartman. There, he did look terrible the last time we brought him on. Hayhurst. Oh, oh, we're going to lose. I think we're about to lose the first game of the season. Chester pull, well, Chester score. Make it 2-1. Go very attacking, try and get a goal if we can. But it looks like we're going to lose our first game of the season. I managed to sign that Thomas Ulo Embo guy from my team in the National League. Smashed in 35 goals that season. Cardiff bought him for 4 million. Yeah, that's a good player as well, by the way, Miles. Everyone seems to be signing Ulo Embo. If you've heard of him. Uh, 
Uh, he's gone to an FC. Actually on a uh, on a non-contract. But he's only just joined. So that's maybe someone we'll keep an eye out on as well. Right, boys and girls, that is the stream done. I'm not going to keep the streams too long. I don't want people to have to watch through four hours of streaming. So they are going to be kind of shorter streams. I've got things to do tonight as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Drop a like on the video before you leave. Please drop a like on the video. It massively helps. It'll take you two seconds. Drop a like on it and I'll see you all on Friday. There will be some uploads, of course, before then, between then and now. Um, but apart from that, it's been a pleasure as always. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody. Laters.